Welcome back to the Commissioner's Corner. I am still your host, Scott Vargo, Summit County Manager, and I am joined now by your second new uh, and newly elected County Commissioner, Josh Blanchard. Josh, thank you very much. Welcome to uh, Commissioner's Corner, uh, what will become, uh, no doubt, one of your most thrilling uh, aspects of your new role <laughs> as County Commissioner. Uh, I know it's one of my most um, uh, wonderful aspects of my job as well. So, uh, well, so good Josh, morning. It's good yes. to be here. Glad to be here. Absolutely, it wonderful. is thrilling. Yes, wonderful to have you here. Uh, I will reiterate: we are socially distanced we uh, are. in uh, in view of COVID, so we are uh, at opposite ends of our studio table here, yes. and so. Uh, Josh, what we did with Tamara, uh, who was on in the segment before you, was talk just, she, she talked a little bit about herself, gave sure. a little bit of a brief intro um, about her background. So Josh, why don't you start with that for yourself? Absolutely. Uh, well, I have been in Summit County for just about 19 years, moved here um, on the north end of the county, and have really been involved in um, nonprofit arts management and higher education, working at Colorado Mountain College, and for 15 years working at Summit High School in the Performing Arts and the Debate Department. And and excited to be in the studio, uh, actually on this side of the table for the first time. So I've been very involved in education here in, in Summit County for, for many, many years and excited to step into this role as commissioner. Fantastic. And you also worked at Lake Dillon Theater Company. Uh, did, served as the executive director for, uh, for just over a decade. Uh, lots of great, great time there as well. Wonderful, wonderful. And you uh, witnessed the, the move of Lake Dillon Theater from Dillon into Silverthorne and a brand new space and everything. Absolutely. So that's I, a I carried a lot project. on my shoulders yeah. as we marched across <laughs> uh, the highway or under the highway. Uh, but yeah, it was a wonderful community project. Lots yeah. of different community partners and stakeholders to make that come to life. And here we are in the middle of a pandemic where the arts are on hold, performing yep. arts are on hold, but they will come back strong in Summit County. Yep, absolutely. With the Lake Dillon Foundation and Lake Dillon Theater. Wonderful, wonderful. Josh, uh, Tamara shared a little bit about some of her priorities uh, coming in as a county commissioner. Uh, share with us a little bit about what you see as the areas where you want to focus your attention uh, going forward and, and talk a little bit about uh, what that means uh, for each of those different areas. Absolutely. So notwithstanding, of course, what we're experiencing with COVID, of uh, public health and safety, those kinds of, of concerns. I think right now Summit County is certainly at a period of time of change, of, of refocusing, re-strategizing what the next um, era of Summit County is going to be. So really it's about planning. I think um, it's well past time for us to refocus on our county um, comp plan, mm -hmm. do some strategic planning as we reassess how we have really grown over the last decade. Um, specifically looking at the impacts of COVID-19, what that means for our business industry, what it means to our working families, um, and really shape, shape uh, whatever the priorities are going to be. So lots of planning going in, and I'm excited about the stakeholder process for that, reaching out into the community, working with our town partners, our resort, resort partners, uh, and our, our business community as well, to make sure that whatever those plans are that we move forward with, that uh, everyone in Summit County has an opportunity to contribute. Great. So I think that process is going to shape, um, you know, the, the various different avenues that we're going to be going to be taking. <clears throat> Two areas that are important for me mm -hmm. are sustainability as well as equity. So sustainability, making sure that we're making the right types of decisions so that uh, Summit County can continue to play a leading role in sustainability, mm -hmm. protecting um, our environmental resources, uh, making responsible decisions as it relates to infrastructure, um, planning, construction, development, those kinds of things. And then equity, so that everyone in our community can have access and be a part of the process as well. So keeping those two tenants in mind as we, as we work into the community, we look at um, business development, we look at uh, long-term sustainability for our, for our economy here in Summit County. Those are some things that uh, I'd like for us to prioritize. Great. And we've, uh, we've begun the process uh, around some strategic planning we at have. the county to try to... Um, implement and understand the vision of the new county commissioner, the new board. Uh, Elizabeth is relatively new as well, only having been uh, in office for a couple of years. And so uh, we really are looking at some significant changes going forward and, and just maybe reprioritization of how we do things. Absolutely. Um, I think that um, the idea of sustainability, the idea of equity, those are two things that we've talked about as sort of being overriding uh, values or goals of the county. And so everything we do trying to look through um, a lens of what's the impact on our climate, what's the mm -hmm. impact on our natural resources, uh, what's the impact on our community, and how do we make sure that we are being inclusive 
um, not just with a, a one particular project, but as a much broader uh, focus. Absolutely. So that's the way I believe you see it as well. You want to talk just a little bit about how that sort of reframes our, our discussions? Absolutely. You know, the county um, has taken that stance, you know, as we've really gone through, I would say, the last decade or so, addressing some of these concerns, addressing some of these um, changes. Uh, so I think that the, the groundwork is already there. We have strong uh, partnerships within our community, with nonprofits, working with our town partners. Uh, a lot of that groundwork is already laid. Now it's um, continuing to look at um, how we've put things into plan, whether it be through our community climate action plan mm -hmm. or whether it be through some of the uh, other initiatives that we've worked uh, through nonprofits, such as Building Hope or Family Intercultural Resource Center. Yep. Um, so we've addressed some of these concerns. Now it's really keeping them in motion, keeping them forward thinking, and also addressing, I think, what has really come out of the last year. Mm -hmm. um, really addressing some of the vulnerabilities as it comes to our working families, uh, the vulnerabilities of our workforce, um, being this paycheck to paycheck economy. Um, so many folks rely on, of course, our resort industry, the ebbs and flows of um, tourism in our community. Yeah. So really making sure that the infrastructure is there and the support is there so that we can have a thriving working community yeah. um, into the future. Yeah, COVID has certainly shed some light on a number of issues within the community. It used to be uh, when uh, you know October would be coming, we would start mm -hmm. to see some of those um, seasonal workers showing up. And the concern was, is there gonna be enough snow? How long is it gonna take for the resort to really ramp up? And we have taken that to a whole nother level with all of the COVID related restrictions and impacts and really seeing what it means when the uh, resorts or the restaurant industry or other um, uh, functions within our county aren't operating at, uh, at their optimal level and the impact that has on our families and our children in school, et cetera, et cetera. Absolutely, you know, it, it impacts our tourism economy, but very much the locals as well. Yeah. We rely on that, um, of course, the school district is a big part of the ecosystem here in Summit County. Yep. So supporting, you know, families so that the kids can be in school, so that parents can keep working. Um, I'm, I'm a working dad myself, so I know what it's like to make sure that, you know, we're doing our part so that our kids can stay in school safely. Um, and, and again, the, the access piece to that, um, we've realized that different members of our community have been more vulnerable, maybe have really struggled to find access um, to continued learning. And so I think we have time to, to sort of reframe the conversations so that we're making sure that as we move forward, that everyone in the community um, you know, has, a, has a role to play and, and can voice what they need. Yep, absolutely. Josh? Uh, anything else that you'd like to share uh, with the with the folks that are watching? Well, I'm excited to be here. I'm excited about um, these outreach efforts. You know, this yeah. is another um, thing that's important for me, as well as I know uh, Tamara and Elizabeth as well, continuing to reach out to the community. Um, right now, there's some restrictions because of uh, COVID-19, so many things happening through media, through social media. But as we get into the summer months and, and hopefully, um, you know, from a public health standpoint, we can interact more. We look forward to going into the community, uh, meeting with folks one-on-one. -on -one. Um, and, and, you know, in, in stakeholder groups and community groups, neighborhoods, and I'm excited about that. Wonderful. And we're looking forward to, at some point, having a show where we have everybody here. You yes. guys can be uh, sort of bouncing comments back and forth off of one another as well. It, it right. makes for a bit more interactive uh, program, and so we're looking forward to that. Uh, Josh, it's, uh, it is February the 8th today. That is right. Uh, important day. I'm going to do two shout outs. One, a shout out to my daughter, Sydney. Happy birthday to Sydney. Happy who turned, birthday, Sydney. Who turned 20 today, so I no longer have any teenagers, uh, which is shocking and makes me feel terribly old. Uh, <laughs> and Josh, happy birthday to you well, as well. Thank you. Yes. Uh, yeah, so 41 today. Um, and happy birthday, Sid. Bir you know, <laughs> birthday, birthday twins, I guess. Absolutely. For all, all right. the February 8ths out there. Wonderful, wonderful. Uh, Josh, thank you very much. We'll thank be you. back again in about a month. Sounds Thanks. good.